It's Umsum time! Why does bloating happen? Bloating occurs when our gastrointestinal tract becomes filled with gas or air. It's often caused by excess gas in the digestive system, thanks to swallowing air, overeating, <laughs> or indulging in gassy foods like beans and carbonated drinks. <laughs> bloating may also result from an imbalance in gut bacteria, leading to excessive gas production. <laughs> Constipation can also be a culprit, as trapped stool leads to trapped gas. Hmm. Huh? Why does a ship float on water? A ship floats on water due to a principle known as buoyancy. Mm. Buoyancy is the upward force exerted by a fluid, in this case, water, that opposes the weight of an immersed object, in this case, the ship. Mm. Ships are designed to displace a volume of water equal to their weight. When the weight of the water displaced is equal to or greater than the weight of the ship, the ship floats. This principle allows even very large and heavy ships to stay afloat. Mm. Why do we snore? Snoring occurs when air struggles to move freely through our nose and throat during sleep, causing the surrounding tissues to vibrate. This happens for various reasons. Firstly, nasal congestion from allergies or colds can block the airway. Secondly, when we sleep on our back, our tongue may block the airway. Thirdly, excess weight can add pressure to our neck, thus narrowing the airway. Lastly, age also plays a role, as throat muscles weaken over time, thus making snoring likely. Hmm. What if we were the size of an atom? Firstly, atoms are crucial in the generation of nuclear power. If we were the size of an atom, we may now be used to generate nuclear power. Hmm. Secondly, a human hair contains more than a million atoms. If we were the size of an atom, even lifting a single human hair may prove to be impossible for us. Hmm. Lastly, atoms join together to form molecules. If we were the size of an atom, even we may join together to form a superhuman. Hmm. Huh? What if we became cold-blooded? Cold-blooded animals have lower metabolic rates than warm-blooded animals, so they need less food and energy to survive. If we became cold-blooded, even our dinner plate may get reduced to a trickle. Cold-blooded animals can survive in extreme environments like deserts. If we became cold-blooded, even we may find ourselves living in deserts. Cold-blooded animals include insects, worms, fish, amphibians, and reptiles. If we became cold-blooded, even we may have to start living among those animals. Hmm.